Good morning. My name is Don Lazinski. I am the lay minister for the UN United Methodist Church and welcome to our morning children's time. Well, this morning we have a special guest speaker. He is one of the youths of our church and he's been taking classes to become a certified speaker. Aaron? Hello. Today for our children's sermon, we will be remembering to be thankful. In keeping with our theme of taking a closer look in the Bible, I have one more story from the New Testament part of the Bible to share with you. Have you ever forgotten to say thank you to someone who did something nice for you? Today, we hear about what happened when Jesus healed a group of men who were very sick. Now on his way to Jerusalem, Jesus traveled along the border of Samaria and Galilee. As he was going into the village, ten men who had leprosy, put, uh, they stood at a distance and called out in a loud voice, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. When he saw them, he said, Go, show yourselves to the priests. And as they went, they were cleansed. One of them, when he saw he was healed, came back, praising God in a loud voice. He got down on his knees and said thank you over and over again. He thanked him, and he was a Samaritan. Not a Samaritan. Jesus asked, were you not all ten cleansed? Were not all ten cleansed? Where are the other nine? Was no one found to return and give praise to God except this farmer? Then he said to him, Rise and go. Your faith has been made you well. Leprosy is a disease that is very contagious. It is not very common now because of the advances in health care and medicines. But back in Bible times, it was seen more often. Leprosy was a disease that attacked the body, causing sores on the skin, and even attacked the organs in the body. Because of their disease, the lepers could not be around anyone at all, not their families, nor friends, not even a doctor. Leopards had to wear torn clothes and announce themselves as lepers. When they going in, when they going anywhere, they were treated as filthy, unclean, and shunned. They lost their families and the lives they once had before getting sick. When Jesus healed them, he not only gave them back their health, but their lives as well. The lepers could once again be with their families, they could go to church, they could play games with others. They could be they could back to work. They could back to work and live happy and healthy lives. Jesus healed these men because he loved them. He loved everyone and cared for everyone, no matter who they are or what their circumstances. He gave them a gift of love. This was an amazing gift. Imagine knowing that you would forever be parted from your family and never be well enough to play but again to go out and play. Knowing that everyone around you would avoid you or call you names because of a sickness you could not help. Then suddenly you see Jesus, a man who you heard could cure illness. You ask him to take pity on you and heals you. What do you think you would have done? Would you have ran off with the other nine lepers? Or would you have turned back and gave him thanks? Give thanks to him. I think Jesus must have been happy that one of them stopped to say thank you. Don't you? This is important to remember to be thankful. There's a lot to be thankful, right? Uh, for right now. We can be thankful for a family, a friends, 
even though we may not be able to get together to see them, we can still communicate with each other and share God's love with them. We all can be thankful to God for our beautiful flowers in the spring, for dews on the grass, for the sparkly snow in the winter morning, in the wintry morning. And most of all, we can be thankful for God sending Jesus to be our teacher, our healer, healer, our shepherd, and our savior. God gives us wonderful gifts every day. Let us remember to be thankful for them. And I am thankful that we had Aaron to share with us today. And I'm thankful for each and every one of you. And may God bless you until we meet again. And remember to smile because God loves you.